The Samarth Assistive Devices Conclave 2024 was organized under the Ages of Samarth Initiative, which witnessed meaningful conversations about solutions and assistive devices that can significantly improve the lives of people with disabilities, making the world more accessible for everyone. The opening remarks were made by JT Park Executive Director, Sales and Marketing of Hyundai Motor India, who shared the vision behind the Samarth by Hyundai Initiative and also set the agenda for the day. Samarth Initiative aims to help create an accessible and inclusive environment for people with disabilities. This initiative is in line with Hyundai vision, progress for humanity. Today, with this conclave, our aim is to initiate conversation about solutions in form of assistive devices that can help make lives of people with disabilities better and make the world more accessible. We will take the, this opportunity to empower people with disabilities along with our partner Samartanam by distributing assistive devices under Samar's Assistive Devices Program through Hyundai Motor India Foundation. Accessibility is about creating a level playing field for everyone. So let us all come together and make India Samar's. Thank you. Hyundai Motor India Foundation has partnered with Samarthanam Trust for the Disabled to improve the lives of Indians with disabilities through technology and innovation. Dr. Mahantesh G.K., founder and managing trustee of Samarthanam Trust, shared his thoughts on the collaboration and how it is a significant step towards creating an inclusive society. On behalf of Samarthanam, on behalf of myself and entire disabled community, I would like to extend my sincere appreciation and gratitude to Hyundai Motors and HMIF for understanding the importance of making India Samarth. People with disability are most neglected, most marginalized. Samarth assistive devices would remove the first three letters in disabilities. So when first three letters are knocked off, what remains? Ability. So you all are capable. That's what Hyundai wants you all to. And Samarthanam strongly believes that every individual is capable. It is the social barriers. It's our mindset. Because human diversity is human. It's disability is just a human diversity. It is not disability which deprives. So Samarthanam is extremely delighted to have got the amazing patronage from Hyundai family to provide these assistive devices. Our senior special correspondent Harish Upadhyay, CNN News 18, engaged in a meaningful conversation with actor Pariniti Chopra and discussed how we can build more inclusive societies for the differently abled. Pariniti, you're known as one of the most socially aware stars. Huh. somebody who advocates big time for inclusivity. So speaking about inclusivity, how do you think we can ensure an inclusive society for people with disabilities, especially using assistive devices and technology? When in society there are people who need us to stand up for them, to have a voice for them, um, I'm so actually honored, I can't even say proud, but I'm so honored that there exist companies that are doing something like what we are doing today. What Hyundai is doing today with the summer campaign, with giving these kind of assistive technologies, will enable people who are missing something in their life to feel like nothing's missing. I'm included. And I expect the same from the world for myself. So I think what we can do is not make anybody feel not included and we need to do it in every department we might be working with technology today but i believe in emotionally including i believe in financially including i believe in including with infrastructure so i i'm so happy that today we're able to do this for everybody and we're able to speak out we're able to actually now make a change 
Actor Pranitha Subhash also shared her thoughts on how we as a society can make the individuals with disabilities feel more valued and respected. You have a huge vision. We've had multiple conversations and you've put in a lot of effort over the last few years in ensuring that education becomes more accessible. What next for the foundation? So I think especially having sat there and heard about the various challenges that people with disabilities are facing, I personally feel that this is something that we really need to take up and focus on and uh, whether it's providing assistive devices, raising awareness, helping the society make sure that they feel more included and I think in various other ways we, we could try to make sure that we reach our goal of making them feel valued and respected. Disability does not in any way mean defeat and this is exemplified by the story of motivational speaker Dr. Sai Kostan. The ever smiling wheelchair warrior of India shared his insights into how individuals can develop true resilience and break boundaries. This smile is not one day result. It has become my signature and it has become the part of my life because my smile has already transformed millions of people and did miracles that I have taken thousands over sessions all over the world, including the United Nations where I represented India in accessibility, inclusion and diversity and represented Sai Smile and India's strong culture, which became the signature of my life. So I think everyone in this hall need to carry this smile in their lives because that is something which we always feel that the best accessible accessory because you don't need to pay for your smile. You can have a big smile and a lot of people are watching your smile can return you the smile and the world will become a happy place. So simple and so easy to do that thing. The aim of the Samarth by Hyundai is to create a more inclusive society and ease the way of living for people with disabilities in India. An esteemed panel of speakers shared their diverse perspectives on subjects like enabling use of assistive devices, challenges and AI tech inclusion in para sports. May I welcome all the lovely panelists that I have with me here today, introducing uh, Shisha Joshi, CEO and founder of uh, Project Mumbai. Uh, Somita Basu, founder and CEO of uh, Zenica Adaptive Clothing. We have Aditya Mehta with us, founder of the Aditya Mehta Foundation. We have Insha Bashir, a wheelchair basketball player, but much, much, much more than that. She is also an inspiration to everyone. And of course, Mr. Shivram Deshpande, head of operations at the Samartham Trust for the Disabled. And of course, a go-getter who has been championing for the cause of the disabled. Disability come to you in your life at a later stage. You were not born with it. And so you have seen what life could have been and life as it changed and what is life now. And I'm sure with your own journeys, you have been able to uh, uh, also contribute to your activism. Insha, if I may start with you. Because the focus is on para sports, uh, tell us about uh, that moment in your journey as a sports person when you got hold of an assistive tech. How did that make you feel? Did you feel that it was a very life altering thing with me? So, did you technology adopt before and after the incident? And uh, overall, how has technology changed your life? I met an accident, I'm from Kashmir, and uh, after that accident, I came to know that uh, my spinal cord got injured, but I did not know that it's like I will be on wheels for lifelong. So after that accident, I was worried about my that innocent dreams that I want to represent my country, India. After a long time, one of the doctor who was my uh, urologist, he told me that, Insha, you can do wonders on wheels. He suggested me go for any rehabilitation center. 
just go there and learn how to be on wheels, how to uh, shift from your wheelchair to bed and all, and to find any institute, any rehabilitation center while I, they can teach me how to be independent, how to use wheelchair. In that institute, I came to know that I can become a sports person on wheels as well. I tried my level best. I told them I want to become a sports person. They helped me when they introduced a device like a wheelchair. That time they uh, introduced me with a uh, standard wheelchair. I used that and then I started practicing. And the additive devices that I introduced me to me, how I can improve my own game, how can I improve my own game, my life totally changed. Right. No, a big round of applause for that because this is one story that we all needed to hear because Insha is uh, an example of how she overcome all the hurdles and when she accepted herself using that assistive technology, her life changed. So absolutely uh, wonderful to hear that, Insha. And Aditya, if I may get you here in as well, you embraced technology with every, each one of them because that your accidents didn't stop you from living. And uh, when you became a para-athlete, uh, one of the other things that you also wanted to do was get the best tech for yourself. Uh, tell me about the journey about your becoming a para-athlete and also when you're using the tech, you know, what are the challenges that come for other athletes and where is the gap that we can bridge? I never expected this accident, but Today, I feel proud about whatever has happened to my life and I thank God that he gave me this beautiful life. I started walking with a prosthetic limb, a basic limb, a good limb, for a few kilometers, then a few meters, then kilometers, and then I started my cycling. I had more than five falls that day when I started cycling. And I still remember that five falls because I didn't have a proper assistive technology device for sports and there was no like there was no organization like us what AMF does to basically guide me I had a lot of hurdles and then I could get medals with my own I have designed a prosthetic limb for my cycling I had a lot of falls for that in fact few days before my Asian championship only four five days before my Asian championship I was trying my new assistive device, whatever bike needed. It came off from my stump, my operated leg, and went inside in front wheel. And I had a, a again an accident. But you still participated. Yeah, I, I just <laughs> went there. I participated and I won medal for country. And I became the first Indian to win two silver medals for country editions. We started this organization in 2013. 13. It's around 10 years. And we have supported, not supported, that was my duty, I feel. We, we have done our best towards my extended family, which are physically challenged, make them earn their dignity through sports. Shishir, if I may get you in here. In your work, I see that as one of the things because you're working for inclusive spaces where people can go and play sports, where people can come together, communities can come together. What has the experience been in fighting for this? I know you're a one-man army. How have the government, stakeholders, all of them been in helping you with this cause? Government is a very important stakeholder in this entire space. And I do believe there are good people everywhere. Uh, Project Mumbai has been relentlessly working. I'll give you some few examples. Is we've got the Mun Mumbai Municipal Corporation partner with us to say we would like to make Mumbai an accessible city, an inclusive city. Uh, we are now making gardens which are inclusive and accessible. We've got, um, we are now working on and we'd love to have Hyundai partner with us. We are looking at something as simple as ramps on beaches. We are talking about technology yeah. but something as basic as a Mumbai has a coastline. So many cities in Mumbai have a co in the country have a coastline but people on beaches can't go onto a beach. Can we work on things like these? We are looking at hospitals, public institutions, which can be um, accessible. We are taking the inclusive mindset to people and involving them. 
some of the best known festivals now we are getting inclusive walks done and and so on and so forth so the point i'm trying to make is there are good people everywhere as we speak the western railway which caters to 50 lakh people every day has partnered with us to say we would like to make the railway system accessible and inclusive so can you tell us how so that openness is there and we believe can we use that goodness and openness of people talking about para sport uh, we are using sport as a medium to reach out to people yes. because india gets unified by bollywood of course and by sport and we felt para sport is such a fantastic when i got introduced to wheelchair basketball that was my first experience i started talking to the wheelchair basketball players we adopted the mumbai team and when i say adopted means i said let me put in all the support that i can we managed to convince a very large foundation to say can you support wheelchair basketball they said what is that i said come and watch a game they came and watched the game and we managed to get 12 wheelchairs of 6 lakh rupee each the point i'm trying to make is there are good people everywhere so there is the willingness there is the support it's just that citizens need to start opening up their eyes organizations like you all should be able to fund not just technologies but also manpower capacity building and so many different things that are required in the space and change can happen i have to say shivraman that you know this is a big initiative and congratulations for what you have achieved with hande uh, you have not only scaled this project but have also brought together so many stakeholders on one platform you've been doing this for many many years what has been the experience for you of bringing this together with such important stakeholders as we all know it's a era of technology technology is everything for us today um, samarthanam has embraced technology uh, from its inception we have all the facility now we have a tinker lab we have a science lab we have a digital library and we digitalized more than 250 schools we are into sports and uh, more than 30 30000 cricketers and para sports is one of the important aspects and samarthanam and hyundai is uh, is into cricket there is a huge need to give adequate attention to para sports identify the talents and potentialities of people with disabilities and extensively use the technology today dialogue should not be limit only on making people with disability to play sports but also look at their long term empowerment there are people like shamata who can design clothes that can be worn uh, very easily how did you come up with this fantastic idea why are there only such few designers in the country who are doing this why are we not waking up like the west that is designing much more for uh, for our community the reason i got into it is because a clothes is because people talk about this is if tech people talk about ai and i was sitting at home when i acquired a disability i acquired it pretty late in my early 30s i have not been trained as a fashion designer when i decided that i need clothes i trained myself as one and all i do is basically design thinking and i think the mo- that's what i said when people put them away uh, put their own egos own thoughts own boxes away we can actually create a lot of design you talked about why we don't have enough designers in india doing it across the world it took nearly 70 years for people to have plus size clothing they were even more visible disabilities are like fairly invisible and for those who are invisible uh, not uh, invisible they are invisibilized by because you know we don't have accessible thanks to hyundai now we will have accessible cars but otherwise we don't have accessible cars and you cannot even create you took 70 years to create clothes for people you could see and now you have to create clothes for people you cannot see so th- that is a huge challenge and the finally i would like to talk about you know you talked about the west having uh, accessible adaptive clothing 
and they do that and some of them are good friends of mine and we always talk about this that we we don't want just having a sense at adaptive clothing what we want is inclusive fashion we want all of fashion to be inclusive it's not that if you need something you should have to come to me you should be able to walk into any store and get it for yourself it shouldn't be so exclusive to be inclusive to help unlock the potential of the disabled assistive devices such as hearing aids wheelchairs digital kits for the visually impaired bionic limbs were distributed A total of 72 technologically advanced assistive devices were distributed at the conclave. As part of its broader initiative, Hyundai has also pledged to distribute a total of 684 assistive devices over the next 3 years. The Smart Assistive Devices Conclave underscores Hyundai Motor India's dedication to creating an empathetic and inclusive society through innovative solutions and collaborative efforts. The successful conclusion of the event marks a significant milestone in Hyundai's commitment to creating a more inclusive society for people with disabilities.